What is going on everybody? Welcome to my apartment. Today, as we're all been trapped inside for so long going insane, I decided, you know what? Let's build a homemade mini golf course inside my apartment, only using items that we have available within the apartment. We got foam golf balls, a golf club, cardboard boxes, anything we can use to build a course out of it. Let's see what happens. Let's get it started. All right, so hole number one, we're gonna do a pretty simple straight shot here. The way this is gonna work is, like I said, we have foam golf balls. Our T is gonna be this Minnie Mouse coaster, our pass holder from Disney. We're gonna use that so we can keep track of where we're putting from for each hole. So that will be where we tee off from. The hole is that tissue box down there. And the way we'll do it is, wherever the person is putting from, we will angle the box in relation to the person putting, just to make it fair. Because that's gonna be our makeshift hole this game. So you get to start this off. And thankfully, like I said, these are foam golf balls, so they can fly and they will not break anything. It's a pretty good spot. That's pretty good. Ooh. I like our spots. We're off to a good start for this. <laughs> and like I said, the way we're gonna do this is to make it fair and if this was a circle for a hole, we will angle the box, same distance away, but we'll angle it. And all it has to do is hit the back. As long as it goes in, if it rolls out, still counts. I gotta do this. It's just making contact. Press what pan? Lefty. Awkward. So that counts. So that's a two. Very nice. Both got two. Sweet. All right, now for the next hole, we're going to start off down here in the living room. You got to put it down. We have some makeshift obstacles. Like I said, we're using what we have. So we have my suitcase. We got a plastic bin full of backpacks and stuff, I think. And a light stand to create a wall. Holes right there. So you can theoretically go underneath the little office desk right there. And it will turn the hole, but you'll have to put it back and kind of drag it out. But you could get a lucky bounce. The part that makes this really interesting is if you, for some reason, miss the suitcase, you're gonna be taking some extra strokes to come back because you're gonna be stuck. Yeah. So let's hope that doesn't happen. You know what? I like my position. I like my spot. I'm trying to make sure I don't like. Ooh, not bad. I don't want to miss it. I want to go under there. <laughs> Darn it. Here, I'll go ahead and finish because I'm going to be in your All way. Right. There we go. Three for me. Darn Ooh, it. Ooh, I understand. There we go. I'm in. I <laughs> just barely, but you didn't make it in. <laughs> so for this hole, we're going to have some fun. So we took one of the kitchen table chairs and a piece of cardboard from a box that we had and we turned it into a ramp and the way this was going to work is you start around where Alicia's leash is at again we're not going to make a designated spot for this so you can kind of adjust where you need to just basically in line with where the two couches kind of create a line in the corner put it up the ramp you have the option if you hit it slow enough and it can drop into this hole this box is a hole in one if you can manage to get the fall in there if not you can also try just to send it the final hole being right there so you have a multiple hole in one option on this and we will see if it works. So you think, are you just gonna try to send it and send it to the back hole? Or are you gonna go for the drop in? I'm gonna go for the drop, we'll see what happens. Oh, you tried oh, though. Yeah. A for effort, good A for effort. I wanna go for, to try to drop it in, but I also wanna send it and see what the ball does. Oh, uh -huh. no! That was so close. Did it hit it? It almost went in. Pooey. Very close. At least you're pretty much guaranteed to get on your next one. Yeah. Awesome. Well. Should I just go ahead since I'm yeah, right there? Yeah, just go ahead. Eventually we're going to nail one of these long putts, but I'm actually kind of proud of that one. Yeah, it was pretty good. Again, it, it goes in. That's in. As long as it goes in, it counts. It went in. Yeah, we both got a three. All right, so for the next hole now, we're gonna leave the living room and the dining room. We're heading towards the kitchen. So this what's gonna work is be called the island hole because you're gonna start right here on the edge of the carpet, switching over to the hardwood. You have to put it around, just try to bank it off of anything here. The hole's right there. And because this is wood set of carpet, these balls are probably gonna roll for a pretty good amount of time. My goal, so what I'm thinking is, my goal is to get it underneath the cabinet to the left of the stove 
and for it to bounce back and just slowly roll and end up somewhere over there. That's my hope. Okay. We'll see if this works. I gotta like really press up against the wall. I'm not hitting it hard. That bounced straight up. <laughs> no. No. That just took a turn. That just went under there, didn't it? Yep. It's in the corner? Yep. Darn it. Oh, it's roll. rolling. Roll. That's not bad. I think you can clear that. I can work with it. Well, I don't think I'm even going to bother moving the tissue box because I'm nowhere close enough to the hole for I think for it to matter. So we're just going to have to like, I'm going to get my club behind it. Come on. Okay, I feel like that's close enough that I can get. And we're just going to drag this out and see where it ends up. How crazy would be if this actually went in? The cop Okay, so we'll just turn it around. We'll turn the box around for the next one for me. Trying to figure out what I'm doing. You can say if you think if your strategy is like to try to bounce it off a wall, we can move and re-angle the tissue box for you. I'm also doing this left handed. Pretty close though. Don't look for that. <laughs> I'll gladly take a three for where I was. There we go. That's a three for both of us. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna get a little bit creative. We're gonna use this chair, ramp it, but you have to bounce it off the suitcase. You have to get onto the table, bounce it off the suitcase, and then come back down to the tissue box hole down there. And I have no idea what the angle this is gonna bounce, so we're gonna have to figure it out. And, and this is our this, wall yeah, to keep us from going around. <laughs> the nice thing is, I don't know if you could even hit it too hard for it to actually launch off the ramp and still go over the suitcase. I don't think you could hit it that hard. So we shall see. It kind of worked. Yeah. I'll have to figure out because I put that there to be a wall. So that means I might have to put it out and then put it around. So it's kind of like I went to no man's land. I like that even in my own course, <laughs> I can I go to no man's land. I didn't even intend for that to be there. There you go. Hey. Who goes with the no man's land? I'm over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know we're not getting it stroke too. Okay, that went way farther than I wanted it to. That works. I'm determined to get one of these long putts at some point during this game. Oh, I did it! I said to be determined. <laughs> Thing is, it gets this little oh, yeah, thing it, from the carpet. So that's where the table usually sits. Look at there, very nice. All right, so the next hole, we're going for distance on this one. So breaking out the coaster again, starting off here, you have to put it under the chair, which is not a very wide gap, maybe a little less than a foot. Get through there, get past the table, then get off of the suitcase, down the hallway, hole is right there. The problem I'm worried about is getting it through the chair. After that, I feel like you're good. It's getting it through the chair. Okay, thank, uh-oh. Now you're behind them. <laughs> yeah. I, so what happened was, I don't know if you can see, but it clipped his back left leg, and that's what sent it off at a bad angle. I just barely missed it. Wow. Nice. Like what, three and a half feet maybe? Oh. Very nice. So my plan is try to graze past this, Barely hit the suitcase and maybe curve off. I'm afraid it's gonna stuck in the door frame though. So we'll see how this goes. I just don't wanna make sure it doesn't. You know what, actually I take all of that back. I'm just lining it up because I know if I try to hit it, it's either gonna clip this and come back at me or hit the suitcase and come back. So we're just gonna do that. And that gives me kind of a straight shot here. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and finish, I feel like just I'm in front ahead. of you. Just go ahead. Also, it's storming outside, so if you guys hear thunder in the background, that's why. You got some bad steering. Oh, <laughs> no! No! You're destined to have to hit lefty this game, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Well, hey, you you got a four though. At least you didn't get a five. 
All right, so for this hole, Alicia actually came up with this one herself. This is her creative idea. So we're using our hands instead of a putter for this one because we're hitting it off the table. You have to roll it down the ramp and it kind of hits a second little hill. And there's a chance that it could bounce straight into the hole or if not, it's gonna bounce over it, and then we'll turn the hole around. You have to put it back. But there's a chance you could get it to roll all the way down the ramp and hop straight in. Let's do it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah like, like I said, as long as it hits the back, it counts. Cool. Oh, close. All oh, around right the edge. There you go. All right, so for this hole, we're calling it the plushy landmine. So we're gonna start down here at the end of the living room. You gotta put it up the ramp again, but the hole's all the way back there at the end, and there's just plushies everywhere. So your incentive is to launch it and get it all the way to the back. You guys can kind of see there's maybe a two or three foot gap from Angel and Marie to where the hole is. So you wanna get it back there. If you land anywhere else, you're taking multiple strokes to get it around it and get it back. I'm more afraid of it going out of bounds, like bouncing out somewhere, but we'll see what happens. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, no. oh my gosh. gosh, that was very close. Oh. You hit Dumbo. You hit Dumbo. I'm sorry, Dumbo. Chill with Baymax. <laughs> Wow, that was great. Oh, no. No. Just clipped the corner. Ah, three for me. I understand. There we go. Now the bummer for this one is now we gotta clean up all the plushies and stuff. <laughs> all right, so last whole time, we're bringing the chair and the ramp back, and the way this one's gonna work is it's kind of like you see ones where it's almost like a skee ball finish, but we're gonna start right on the edge of the ramp. You have to launch it up. If you get it into the box, it's a hole in one. If it misses, it's a two. But the way it can work is it can either launch straight in, it can bounce off the back wall and bounce in, it can bounce like light into the chair and bounce in. As long as it touches the inside of that box, it can even bounce out. As long as it touches the inside of that box, it is a hole in one. Anything else is a two. Ooh. Oh, no way! Okay, I didn't think this was gonna work when I built this, so I'm really happy that worked out. Wow! <laughs> nice! Look at that! I can't believe that worked both ways, too. Wow! That was a good time. Yeah. Very fun way to, like, stretch your creativity a little bit. Yeah. And I hope, hopefully this gave you guys some ideas, like, where everyone's kind of stuck at home right now, or even in the winter when, like, mini golf courses aren't really open if you live up north. A way to occupy your weekend and take a few hours of your day, just again, play with your creativity, go yeah. like family bonding game, I feel like. And you can make as many holes as you want, so I had a good time. A new addition to family game night. Yeah, this could be like a family game night, for real. <laughs> but guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video and like this idea. If you want to see us maybe do this again, again with the winter and stuff like that, try it again then when all the places are closed, drop a like on this video and let us know some ideas you think we should do, some hole ideas or designs in the comment section down below. Either way, thank you for watching this video. Have a great day, and we'll see you all very soon in the next one. Later.